If you guys have ever followed Dasung, they are infamous for having spiderweb like cabling systems. This one is pretty much as easy as it's going to get and they give you two of these in the box. You get a USB, you get a full HDMI and a mini HDMI. You don't have to install any drivers like the first generation and it's actually pretty plug and play and everything just works right away. Mini HDMI here and you put the full HDMI here along with the USB for power. And this allows you to move the signal from your laptop or HDMI device to the Dasung monitor. Reading on the Dasung is pleasantly amazing. It's very, very fast. You will see here that we are loading the Goody Reader website and we can go through the carousel and you see it is extremely fluid in its inherent form. It's very fast, very, very smooth. You can see that we scroll all the way to the top, to the bottom, and it's lightning quick. We're gonna click on an article right now. Now the load time is mostly because we're using a very old computer because the Dasung does require, as we told you earlier, an HDMI connection. And not a lot of devices we have around the studio actually have uh, an HDMI port. But other than the picture not loading, it is very, very snappy. You can see highlights look very nice. No refresh issues. There's also nine levels of grayscale, so you can make things super light or super, super dark. You can almost eliminate all the blacks or make the black parts blend in to a point where it's almost unreadable, which is kind of nice because it gives you that full scale level of customization just by pressing the monitor. Pressing the C button at any time allows you to remove all the ghosting, AKA cause a refresh. If you press the M, you actually have M3, two and one, and each one will have a different level of grayscale. Take note of this picture of Bed Bath & Beyond. If we press M3, you can see the greatest amount of detail. You can see the reflection right here. You can read what's on the text and you get all the highlights and lowlights. If you press M2, a lot of that reflection starts going away and you can't really see the escalator anymore. If you go M3, this is the lowest grayscale mode, which basically means that everything's just super black or super white. There's nothing really in the middle. The advantage of this though, is that everything loads really quick, quicker than it did on M2 or M3. You have one final thing we can do here. Press and hold the M button and press up or down on the buttons that have the plus or minus. This allows you to do black mode, black plus, plus plus, or fast mode plus or plus plus. Fast mode plus plus is the absolute quickest mode possible. And this allows for the most amount of staining, but the quickest refresh. You can see how quick that is.
Is it ironic that we have showed you a color e-paper video on a non-color e-paper screen? Sure, but we must say in all the years of doing Goody Reader, we can say without a doubt that based on the refresh and how quickly and smoothly that video played, that this is the quickest e-ink device we have ever tested. Previous Dasung models only had three buttons and you never really even know what they did. This generation is much more intuitive. You have a plus minus CM, a glow light button, and a power button. The C button removes the ghosting or it refreshes the page. The M is grayscale modes, one, two, and three. We'll show you that a little bit later on. The glow light button is a glow light button and it also cycles between warm lights and white lights. Power button is the power button. Up and down on its own is adjusting the contrast. You have nine levels of contrast. We'll check that in a second. If you press and hold the M and up and down, this is where you get the speed mode and the black mode. We'll show you this as well. If you press and hold the glow light button and up and down, it affects the brightness of the glow light, whether it's warm or cold. And if you press and hold C and M at the same time, it restarts the monitor. Something else that Dasung has done for the first time is effectively been the first 13.3 inch device to have a glow light on it. Not only that, they have warm lighting. You can't blend them together, but you can toggle them. So you go from blue and you have, or white lights, and you have nine different levels, not 10, of lighting by pressing and holding the glow light button and the plus or minus. If you press it again, it toggles over to the warm lighting in which you have another nine levels, or you can just turn it off altogether. It is quite amazing that the light distribution is this good on a 13.3 inch device because not only are there not many 13.3 inch devices out there, none of them have glow lights. The Dasung Paperlike HD is absolutely incredible. I will say for out of personal experience, we have used a lot of devices from the Dark Moon R9 all the way up to the Progressive Technology manga reader and everything in between. Every e-reader, every digital note taking device that has come through Goody Reader, the Dasung Paperlike HD is the quickest. We have never seen a video play quite as smooth with quite as much detail as this device does. Now, all of that does come with a price tag. It is anywhere from $1,100 to $1,400 US for this device. But Dasung has done an amazing job making this very simple to hook up. They used to have a very difficult driver installation process that required you to have CDs and everything to make this work. Now it's plug and play. It even works on iPhones if you have an additional adapter. Highly recommend the Dasung. This has been a quick review of the Dasung Paperlike HD. If you guys want to grab one, we do sell them in our store uh, at goodyreader.com slash blog slash shop. Link will be down below. And if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, let us know. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter. Thank you.